In addition, Obstagoon is going to be resisting all of Muck's dark type attacks. I go ahead and show the Sludge Wave and I farm him down. In comes Typhlosion, I'm throwing another Night Slash. I get another boost, let's go! I'm able to get to a final Night Slash. This is going to be one-shotting Typhlosion and Goon sweeps an entire team. What's going on guys, Chillus FM here and today I'm featuring the one, the only, the Goon Squad. This is a team that was originally built and perfected by a really great up and coming streamer, NCK288. If you like this team, make sure you go show him some love. I'll put his Twitch and his Twitter in the description below. This team dominates in the Ultra Premier League with an Obstagoon lead and Charizard and Venusaur in the back. Before we get into the battles, I just wanted to take a second to say thank you to all my viewers. We recently hit 100 subscribers on YouTube and it's been a blast. So Thank you to any of you that have watched any of my videos, liked any of my videos, commented on any of my videos, and especially those of you that have subscribed to my channel. You the real MVPs. Finally, I wanted to give a shout out to Home Slice Henry and Shrady. These are two phenomenal content creators that have helped this channel grow a lot. Both of these creators feature some very spicy and very strong teams, so if you're not already subscribed to them, make sure you head over to their channel and hit that subscribe button. I'll put a link to their channels in the description below. Alright, let's get into the battles. In my first matchup, I'm up against a Clefable lead. That's pretty bad for Obstagoon, so I immediately swap into Venusaur. I find Venusaur is a much safer swap than Charizard, so I will almost always swap into Venusaur over Charizard. They bring out Umbreon, and I know Umbreon's a tank, so I'm going to be pumping out these Frenzy Plants as quickly as I get them. Still, since Clefable let me get ahead on energy, I'm able to pump out three Frenzy Plants. This forces them to shield and gets them pretty low on health. After that, I'm going to let Venusaur go down. The goal here is to get some good farm on Obstagoon. Umbreon does barely get off a of last resort, but because of Umbreon's low attack stat and the goon's tankiness, it doesn't do too much. Clefable comes in and I pretend I have Gunk Shot. They shield. Now it's up to Charizard with two shields to come in and clean up. Clefable's throwing a move. I know it's resisted more than likely, but I go ahead and shield and then I'm throwing the Blast Burn. That's going to take out Clefable. What do they have left? It's an Obstagoon. Charizard can easily clean this up by going straight Blast Burn and then throwing a Dragon Claw. I did make a bit of a misplay. You should never shield the first Night Slash in case their Obstagoon gets the boost. Lucky for me, they did not get the boost, so Charizard's going to be able to wrap this up very easily and that's going to be a GG's. Moving into my next battle, I'm up against a Gallade lead. This is a pretty good lead for Obstagoon. Confusion is resisted, Leaf Blade doesn't do too much, but I do have to watch out for close combat. We get some lag, so I lose count of how much energy Gallade has, but I'm going to go ahead and pump out these Night Slashes. Now they're throwing, and I'm thinking it's probably the close combat Ice Shield, and then they're throwing again. Normally Gallade is only able to get to one close combat, so I make the call, and it was only a Leaf Blade, so that was a good call knowing that matchup really saved me from using a shield right there. Gyarados comes in and Obstagoon gets the boost. Let's go. Now Gyarados is throwing, but I know the goon is a tank. Look at it. I tank it. I'm still able to get to this next Night Slash. That would be doing massive damage, so they have to give up a shield. At this point, I'm able to properly align my back line, matching up Venusaur with Gyarados and Charizard with a Scavalier. So that's going to be a GG's. Well played to my opponent. My next matchup is against a Tangrowth lead. This is normally pretty neutral, but I get the boost. Let's go. I go ahead and no shield the first charge attack, knowing it won't one shot me. It's a rock slide and Obstagoon tanks it like a champ. Now I'm going to be able to get to another night slash and put some heavy pressure on them. They throw up a shield and then they're getting to another charge attack. This time I'm going to shield, I'm going to preserve health on Obstagoon. Now they bring in Alolan Muck and this is why I have Cross Chop. Cross Chop is going to be doing some neutral damage and since I'm boosted it's going to do some pretty heavy neutral damage. In addition, Obstagoon is going to be resisting all of Muck's dark type attacks. I go ahead and shield the Sludge Wave and I farm him down. In comes Typhlosion, I'm throwing another Night Slash. I get another boost, let's go! I'm able to get to a final Night Slash. This is going to be one-shotting Typhlosion and Goon sweeps an entire team without ever swapping out. So there it is, Goon is very scary if you get that boost on the first Night Slash and they don't have a hard counter for it. Moving into the next matchup, I'm up against a Dragonite lead. This is a surprisingly good lead for the Goon. You win this in the one shield. You can eat one Dragon Claw and shield the next one. You just have to watch out for the big move, um, such as Outrage, but as long as they're throwing Dragon Claws, you win this. 
So there it is, I shield and then I'm going to be able to farm down and have energy for whatever comes in next. They bring in Venusaur, so I'm going straight Night Slash. I'm not expecting too much, but at least I get some chip damage on them. Now I'm able to align Charizard with their Venusaur. This is great. I'm going to go ahead and eat the Sludge Bomb. I don't want to be down two shields. They bring in Empoleon. I answer with Venusaur and they're throwing a move. I know I can tank one drill pack, so I let it go through and then I'm going to be spamming out these Frenzy Plants. I expect to get both of his shields off pretty quickly here. One shield's gone. I'm throwing the second Frenzy Plant. Let's see, does he give me the other shield? Yes, I get the second shield. Now I'm actually going to let Venusaur go down. Even though Charizard is very low, I'm at the Blast Burn and I know Venusaur can't do anything with the shield still up. They come in, they realize there's no farming me down, and they quit. In the next battle, I'm up against a May 23. This battler was featured in J-Farm's recent video featuring his level 50 Skarmory. However, I hadn't seen that video at this time, so I had no clue what he might be running. Still, Skarmory is a good lead for Obstagoon as long as I don't get hit by a Brave Bird. I'm spamming out Night Slashes and I get the boost. Now I can shield whatever he throws and probably farm down. I'm farming him down, but he does get to a move. I'm confident he's not at the Brave Bird here. I'm correct. I farm him completely down and I have energy for whatever comes in next. They bring in Swampert. I'm going to be able to fire out double Night Slashes very quickly. He eats the first one. Let's see if he shields the second. Yes, I get the shield. Now we're even on shields and his Swampert is very, very low on health. I bring in Venusaur and they switch to Gallade. Even though these Confucians chunk, I want to go ahead and throw a Frenzy Plant to get that last shield. I get it and I bring in Charizard. Now I can go straight for the Blast Burn before they even throw a move at me. That's going to be taking out Gallade and then Swampert's still left. I'm going to let Swampert take out Charizard, keep my shield and just farm this thing down. That's going to be a GG's. So that battle closed out a 5-0 for me. In full disclosure, not all of these battles are in order because I wanted to show a variety of different leads and how to handle them with this team. Moving into the next matchup, I'm up against a little bit of a tough lead. It's a Venusaur. I always elect to go ahead and swap into my Venusaur and do the mirror match and see if they swap out. This opponent let me farm a little bit and then they swapped into Gallade. I'm going to be able to get off both of their shields before Venusaur goes down. Since Gallade has a lot of energy, I'm going to bring in Charizard. Charizard resists both Leaf Blade and Close Combat. If they throw Close Combat first, they're going to be easier to farm down, but they go Leaf Blade first. I can safely shield the second close combat and then throw this Dragon Claw. This takes them out. Let's see, do they come back in with Venus or I don't think so. What do they have left? They have a Dragon Knight. I'm able to get to this Dragon Claw very quickly. That's going to do a lot of damage and then I switch into Obstagoon. Obstagoon is going to be throwing these Night Slashes at Venusaur. Hopefully I can get the boost. That would help a lot, but regardless, I do have a shield advantage here. I eat the first Frenzy Plant and I'm spamming out another Night Slash. Let's see, do I get the boost? No, no boost. That's okay. Now Venusaur is throwing again, but I'm going to go down. I know I can farm up some energy and have this Dragon Claw ready to go when Dragon Knight comes back in. Here they are. They're back in. I'm there. All I got to do is use this last shield and throw this Dragon Claw, and that's going to be a GG's well played to my opponent. My next opponent is Spring Water, but they bring a fire type lead. They bring Charizard. This is a neutral lead, but I do have to properly shield the Blast Burn to win this. I'm going to be pumping out these nice slashes, hoping for the boost, but if I don't get it, that's still okay. Now they're throwing. I think it's the Dragon Claw. No, it's the Blast Burn. That hurts a lot. I'm still able to get to this Night Slash. That's going to do some good damage and get them pretty low, and lucky for me, they dump their energy. Now I'm going to be able to come in with Charizard and just farm their Charizard down. There's the farm down. What do they have next? They bring in a Shadow Swamper. That's terrible, but I'm going to go ahead and bait and see if I can get a shield. Yes, I get the shield and then I'm able to swap into Venusaur. They have the Venusaur Mirror. Now I have to play some mind games. I know it's probably going to be a Sludge Bomb. I go ahead and throw up the first shield. I'm throwing out my Sludge Bomb. No shield. This is great. Now, they're not throwing and I'm going to bait. No, I'm going to go straight for it. They actually go down. I cannot believe it. I almost always bait in that situation, but it paid off just to go for it that time. In my next battle, I'm up against an Escavalier lead. Their counters are going to be doing double super effective damage to the goon, but I can't swap out. Venusaur is not a counter for a Scavalier, only Charizard is. I'm definitely not wasting any shield, so I just go down and I bring in Charizard. They bring in a Honchkrow. I don't want Honchkrow in line with Venusaur, and I go ahead and eat their first attack. Holy moly, that Sky Attack did so much, I was not expecting that. 
Still, I realize I have to get Honchkur out of here. I go ahead and shield Charizard, and then I'm going to throw Dragon Claw. They shield. Now I think I have to go to the Sludge Bomb. They may have been low enough that Frenzy Plant would have done it, but I just don't know this matchup good enough, and I did not want to risk it. I go for the Sludge Bomb, it takes him out, and they bring back in Escavalier. Okay, I'm reading into this. I'm thinking if they're bringing back an Escav, maybe they're scared of Venusaur. So I over farm and I'm throwing this. It takes out Escav and yes, it's a Swampert in the back. One Frenzy Plant will take out Swampert. So GG's well played to my opponent, but I was able to read into what they had in the back and that got me the win. Up next, I have an Obstagoon Mirror Match. My Obstagoon isn't the best IV, so I've been going for Night Slash, though I am kind of torn because sometimes they don't shield. It paid off this time, I got the boost, so now they have to swap out and I'm able to align Charizard with this Togekiss. I chose Charizard because I know Venusaur can handle their Obstagoon very easily, and they eat the Blast Burn, so that's great. I'm able to farm them down, and what do they bring in next? They bring in Slowbro. I'm going to build up to Blast Burn, and then I'm going to bait with the Dragon Claw. They do not shield. That's okay. I'm just going to go straight Dragon Claw now and get as much chip as I can before they farm me down. There we go. I got them pretty low. I bring back in the Goon, and they bring in their Goon. Since I showed Night Slash before, I'm thinking maybe they won't shield the Cross Chop. No, they do shield the Cross Chop, but that's okay. I bring in Venusaur, and I want to farm up to almost two Frenzy Plants before I take out Goon. There it is. I'm one Vine Whip away. I'm going to throw this and take out Goon, and then I'm going to be able to get to the next Frenzy Plant before the Confusion Damage registers. That's going to be a GG well played to my opponent. Moving into the final matchup, I'm up against an Ampharos lead. In this lead, you have to count 5 Volt Switches and then call the Focus Blast. I throw Night Slash after 6 counters. This prevents them from getting any extra turns. They're at 5. I go ahead and shield. It was a bait, just a Thunder Punch, but that's okay. I'm at another Night Slash. They shield, and then I'm going to be able to get to a third Night Slash before they're able to throw again. They give me another shield, and I get the boost. Now I know I'm going to have to shield and farm them down. It is the Focus Blast. They bring in Venusaur. I'm going to be able to hit it with a boosted Night Slash. Let's go. And then I swap into Charizard. I should be able to farm this down, though I am going to have to eat one Sludge Bomb. That's okay. So there's the farm down. I have a lot of energy, and I'm expecting Ampharos to come back in since they have a Thunder Punch ready. They bring in Gallade. Okay, so I wasted a Dragon Claw, but that's okay. I'm still able to get to the Blast Burn. This will take out Gallade, and then Ampharos will come back in. It's very, very low health. Nothing that Ampharos can do with this. Point, but they do take out Charizard with the Thunder Punch before they quit. Alright, so that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to head over to Twitch and give NCK288 a follow because this team is all his creation. I'm just here showing my viewers. Alright, this is Chillus FM wishing you good luck in your battles.